yeah. it's a difficult one, but yeah. we'll see what lineup. I think it's a surprise. Yeah. I think he purposely knowing him, yeah. the strategic uh, guy that he is, yeah. purposely did it this way so yeah. that he keeps uh, people guessing. So, we'll see so who's gonna are, feature, who's gonna be in the starting eleven uh, for Liverpool. Hello, welcome to the Disky Preview Show and signing in is yours truly, Mr. E. And I'm not alone in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. I have Utisha. Utisha Wetiski. Utisha Wetiski, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, Mr. E. Looking uh, forward to a great weekend. Most certainly. It's going to be a very, very big uh, weekend uh, and we are uh, spoiled uh, for games, uh, especially in the EPL. And uh, now let's quickly take a look at some of uh, those matches uh, starting off at Old Trafford, where Manchester United will be playing against uh, Everton and at Villa Park, uh, Aston Villa will be trading blows with uh, Tottenham Hotspur. And in our third final game, boys will be separated from men. We have the league decider. The top of the log contenders, that is Liverpool, who host Manchester City. What do you think about uh, this weekend's games? Uh, please let us know on the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And now let's quickly take a look at uh, one of the matches that will be headlining, headlining this weekend. It's uh, Manchester United uh, playing against uh, Everton. Uh, Tisha Wetiski, Manchester United coming to this game after a 3-1 drubbing from uh, Manchester City. I, I think Man United, they're happy that the game with Manchester City ended. In 3-1, I mean, oh, it could have been worse. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a game, what a game, what a game. Yeah. Uh, Manchester City showed mm. which they really are the better team yeah. in, in Manchester. Man yeah. United. But, but, but if, I, if, if, if I may ask Atisha Wetiski, where did Manchester United go wrong? Because uh, um, they they started off uh, by scoring and they were leading at one particular moment and uh, time uh, during the game by one goal to nil. I think they, they showed too much respect to Man City. Mm, mm. They showed Man City. Yeah. Oguti, they are afraid of them. Yeah. So they, they, they got an early goal, yeah. which was good for them. Yeah. From there, they went on to defend. Yeah. How can you defend a they single won. goal against Man City, a team who has Haaland, a team who has Foden, a team who has Silva, mm. a team who has the brain, a team who has Rodri? You can yeah. never, ever defend a one goal, mm. uh, a lead those against Manchester City. So that's where they went wrong. They went yeah. to defend instead of yeah. attacking. Were those uh, the tactics of uh, the coach who Eric Tenet? Difficult to say, Mr. E. Yeah. I think they were just surprised. They were surprised that they got an, an, an early goal. Yeah. It, it just missed the plan. It was a standard. You saw that uh, by Rashford. What, what, what a goal. What a goal yeah. by Rashford. What mm. a goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal. Yeah. Then Phil Ford and showed him what you can do. I can do better. Yeah, but he done what uh, uh, Rashford done. He done yeah. it twice. Yeah, he did it twice. <laughs> and, and not to be left out was Haaland. Did you see that goal? Haaland being Haaland. Yeah. But do we talk about that miss? Or maybe not. Let's forget about Man City. It let's reminds me of someone who plays and, for... And, no, let's leave it. Let's go yeah. back to the menu <laughs> and, and, yeah. and Everton. Yeah. Look, uh, menu come to this game mm. um, sitting in, in, in sixth position. Sixth position, yes. Um, you know, menu was doing was starting to do uh, yeah. uh, so well now. Yeah. It, it, it's a pity. They they have lost the last two games. Yeah. Had they won those games, they, yeah. they'll be in a Champions League spot. Yeah, yeah. But look now, they're sitting in sixth uh, spot position, because yeah. they've lost the last two games. Yeah. Everton, on the other hand, last yeah. five games, they've yet to win mm. in the mm. last five games. Yeah. So Everton is, is struggling. Yeah. And Manchester United, they'll be looking forward to this game. So Manchester United will fancy their chances to pick up the maximum points when they play against Everton. Yeah, most definitely. This is a chance. Yeah. I mean, it will be an easier game mm. for them to play than the game they just had against uh, Manchester City. And now let's uh, quickly get into their predictions of uh, this game, uh, Tisha Wittiski, uh, so that we uh, you can tell us who's going to win uh, the, na the game between Manchester United and Everton. Man United win. And now let's get on to the second featured game, which is going to take place at Villa Park, where Aston Villa will be playing against Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, these two teams, are they're separated by six points coming into this game. Yeah, uh, Mr. E, not uh, much separates these two teams. Yeah. Uh, but hey, Aston Villa, who would have thought Aston Villa are actually above uh, Tottenham? At this, time, Villa, at this time of uh, the, the, the season. Yeah, Aston Villa currently find themselves in the fourth place, yeah. whereas uh, Tottenham is fifth place. Yeah. Fourth place for Aston Villa yeah. means what? Champions League Champions spot. League. Do you know, yeah. Mr. E, that Aston Villa has actually won the Champions League? Yeah, I, I remember so, we were talking about uh, the, these decks, but that was back 1982. in 1982. Oxalayo, they've yeah. won the Champions they, 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 League. They've so, got the trophy in their cabinet. With the fourth spot, yeah. Yeah. If they stay, they're able to hang on in yeah. this uh, uh, position, yeah. they, they go on and, and, and they try and go get the second star yeah. in the Champions League. So yeah. who knows, eh? 
Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try and uh, take a look at uh, their, their um, uh, jersey. Is, does it ever start to show a jersey? Maybe I've never noticed it, Dave. Yeah. But it's fine. <laughs> That's a conversation <laughs> for another day because I know the Kaiser Chiefs fans will, will want to fight with me here. Yeah. So, how do you think uh, this game is going to pan out? Uh, taking, I mean, like uh, considering the fact that uh, Tottenham Hotspur has been uh, blowing hot and cold throughout mm. the season. What a game we have in our hands, Mr. Yeah. A. Uh, if you look at Aston Villa, yeah. last three games, the one or the three games, yeah. and they have an average of nine goals. Yeah. So they're scoring goals for yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, their front you, line is sharp. You look at uh, Tottenham. Yeah. On the other hand, yeah. last three games yeah. they've won two, but they have a loss. They have a loss. Them. So it, they, yeah. they've lost a game in the last uh, uh, three games. Mm. But we have to mention Watkins. Yeah. He's doing wonders for Aston Villa. He's, he's excellent. He's, he's having fun. Yeah. yeah. His con his, his, his goal contributions. Yeah. Are over the uh, over the world. He's yeah. got 16 goals yeah. in the league. He's the second uh, uh, top, top goal, goal scorer. scorer. Yeah. No, he's actually... No, he's third. He's, he's third. third. Okay. After Salah, yeah. it's first yeah. uh, uh, Haaland, yeah. then it's Haaland. Salah, then yeah. No, he's second. Sorry, yeah. he's second. Okay. He's second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, second. he's one of the he's, top he's, goal scorers. He's got 16 goals, <laughs> and then he's got uh, 10 assists. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, he's that's, having that's a phenomenal. I think, yeah. I think uh, he's, he's making very big uh, contributions to Aston Villa. Yeah, on the other hand, yeah. Tottenham. Yeah. You cannot mention Tottenham without mentioning U Uson. Uson, yeah. Uson is back, yeah. doing what he's doing yeah. most. Yeah. Scoring goals. Could we see maybe a BTS in this game? Because surely it looks like we're going to have goals. I, I, I say to you, I, 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 Aston Villa is, is averaging nine goals in yeah. the last three games. Yeah. Tottenham is averaging six goals. Yeah. In the last uh, um, three games, yeah, uh, goals galore. Yeah. So between them, mm. there's 15 goals in three games. Yeah, so I'm definitely seeing a lot of goals coming to this game. Most certainly. Now let's quickly get into the thick of things. Uh, now Tisha Wetiski, please give us uh, the prediction uh, between uh, Aston Villa and Tottenham. I'm going for totals for this game. Yeah. So over 2.5. Over 2.5. Uh, those are the sentiments of Tisha Wetiski. Where are you watching uh, this show, this video from? Uh, please uh, tell us uh, on the comment section and don't forget to like uh, and press uh, the subscribe button. And now let's quickly take a look at uh, the third and final game that's going to take place at Enfield Stadium. It's a big one, a titanic showdown uh, between Liverpool and Manchester City. Tisha Wetiski, it's a do-or-die game uh, for, for both teams. I said earlier on, Mr. E, in yeah. the introduction, oh, see, this game, it separates the boys yeah. from the men. Uh, and who, I, who, who, I, I, who are I, the boys here? I, I tell Klopp to bring his under-19. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell oh, Klopp yeah. to oh, bring oh, his under-19. The boys are in Liverpool. I, bring, I, I tell him to bring, to bring his boys. <laughs> <laughs> I game. doubt very much if yeah. he's going to do that because he definitely wants uh, to end uh, the season on a high note as he leaves uh, uh, Liverpool. Look, I mean, uh, Mr. E, we have to be honest. Uh, Liverpool, they went high. Yeah. Currently, are sitting on top. Yeah. But you, you know, the, the nice thing about this EPL mm. is it's very, very close. Yeah. Only one point yeah. separates first and second. Yeah. And only yeah. one point yeah. separates second and third. That's throwing uh, Arsenal into the picture. Arsenal is definitely in the picture. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll make you a scenario. Yeah. If Liverpool and Man City yeah. were to go on and draw, and draw, and Arsenal wins the game, yeah. Arsenal go on top. Wow. That, Arsenal go on top. That's how tight things are at the top there. So I can, I can imagine Arsenal fans that can see them uh, cheering <laughs> on both these teams uh, uh, to, and, to draw so yeah. they get a chance to go on top. Yeah, most, most certainly. Maybe they'll, they'll be able to dethrone uh, Liverpool at the top of uh, that uh, league table to show this game. Who are the other guys uh, to be on the lookout for at uh, Manchester City? I think uh, Liverpool, you said uh, uh, Klopp will not be featuring his youngsters this time around. It's a very, very, very big match for him. No, look, it's, it's, it's a difficult one. Yeah. It's a difficult one, Mr. E. Mm. The, the, the young squad that took the Carabao Cup, yeah. yes, they did take the cup, but they don't have that much a, a, experience. experience. Yeah. Now, imagine you putting those boys in a deep end yeah. against the likes of or, or, or Rodri, yeah, or De Bruyne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abu Haaland. Yeah. Whereas, on the other hand, also, yeah. now, if you bring the, 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 the thing, the matured guys, the guys yeah. with experience that yeah. haven't been playing regularly, yeah. Game fitness, match yeah. fitness. Yeah. They don't have a, a match fitness. So now it's a, he's in, caught in, in, in two uh, uh, places. Yeah. He's, he's got choice. He needs to decide. Yeah. Does he continue with his with young youngsters. guys? Yeah. Abo Elliot, yeah. Abo uh, uh, Kakpo, yeah. Or does he now uh, uh, put in, uh, bring back Abo the, Mosala, the Abo, Abo Nunes? Yeah. It's a difficult one, but yeah. we'll see what lineup. I think it's a surprise. Yeah. I think he, he purposely, knowing him, yeah. the strategic uh, guy that he is, yeah. purposely did it this way so yeah. that he keeps uh, people guessing. So 
Who's so gonna are, feature? Who's gonna be in the starting eleven uh, for Liverpool? So those are big mind games uh, for we are getting club. Definitely mind games. Because mm. when you go to Man City, yeah. we already know your your is gonna be there. You know that's gonna be there. is gonna be there. Debray is gonna be there. <laughs> is gonna be there. Yeah. Carl Walker is gonna be there. So yeah. you know, Man City is yeah. actually predictable now yeah. as compared to Liverpool. In Liverpool. But yeah. still, with Man City being predictable, yeah. How do you stop them? Yeah, with Pep Guardiola right at the top them? of Because I, 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 I would say Uklop must go uh, ask Ten Hag for yeah. advice. Yeah. But after the game, ah, I turn it. Uh, he cannot. Yeah. He, he cannot do that. Maybe, so he maybe, maybe he should go to Aston Villa and ask how he can uh, uh, score a lot of goals. Yeah, but that happened ages ago. That happened yeah. ages ago. <laughs> after then, after then, Man City has been yeah. unstoppable. Yeah, it's but certainly. It's, it's, it's a decision. And by the way, Liverpool, they are they are gunning for a quadruple, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, it's it's on the cards. Yeah. It's on the cards. It's, 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 Anything can happen. I, yeah. I always said Uklop deserves a proper farewell. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm curious. Has a club ever done? Has a club, mm. a, a EPL club, ever won a quadruple? Not that time. I know a treble, but um, yeah, still, uh, we need to go into our archives and see if there's a club that is won. Uh, um, the uh, I, I, I doubt it. Can and, can, and, can and club the be the first? Uh, can club be the first to yeah. do it? Yeah, but now, but, but but whichever way, if he does it, I think it's gonna be a very very. Uh, it's gonna be a chair on top of that. Yeah, Look, okay. he's, he's he's done it all. Yeah. He, he's got silverware yeah. already. What more do you want? Mm. You, you got silverware yeah. already. I know he'd still be looking for FA Cup. Yeah, still be looking for the league. Mm. Yeah, but Oxlade, he, he he's got something. Yeah, he's got something. Those are the sentiments uh, of Futisha Wetiski about the game that's gonna take place at Anfield Stadium. Now let's uh, get quickly get his predictions. Uh, we want to know between Liverpool and Manchester City who's gonna finish the day on top of that league table. Look, Mr. Before I go to my prediction, if yeah. you look at the head-to-head between these two teams, yeah. we just look at the five games alone. Yeah. Liverpool has won two. Mm. Man City has won two. Yeah. And there's been one draw. That's how, how tight the Latest game, game yeah. being the draw. That's yeah. the game that they drew 1-1. Um, yeah. But then now, ironic part is, in 2023, yeah. they played two games. Mm. Man City won those two games. Yeah. Hmm. So Liverpool failed to beat Man City in, in 2023. 2023. Yeah. And I don't see them beating Man City again in 2024. Okay. So, my prediction. Tisha Wojcicki. Man City. Yeah. Win. Ha! Man City. Win. There's that pause there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> now, let's quickly get a recap of, on, of uh, today's uh, featured games, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we started off our journey at uh, Old Trafford. Uh, Tisha Wojcicki, you said uh, w- which team is going to win between uh, Manchester United and Everton. Uh. Man United win. And then uh, we quickly went we went to Villa Park where Aston Villa is going to be playing against uh, uh, Totten, uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Over 2.5. And between Liverpool and Manchester City. Man City win. Man City to take the title. This time there is no pause. There is no pause, Mr. <laughs> on, 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 on Monday morning, yes. you must go to the lock table. Yeah. You will see Man City sitting on top. Is it? You'll see Man City we will job. be there to see that. And what what, what are your sentiments? What do you think about Tutisha Wetiski's uh, predictions, especially the game between uh, Liverpool and Manchester City? Do you think Manchester City is going to pull this one through or it's going to be Liverpool? Tell us on the comment section. And we've got pocket bad codes available for the games that we've just mentioned and other games also. Feel free to take the pocket bad codes, go to any of our branches nationwide and place your bets. Or if you're an online customer, simply take those pocket bad codes and place your bets online. That's how easy and betting is uh, at uh, Bedfred, uh, the Bonus Kings. Uh, I would like to thank you very much for tuning in to this week's uh, episode of the Disky Preview Show and signing off is yours truly, Mr. E. Once again, thank you very much uh, for tuning in and signing out is yours truly, Utisha, Utisha with Disky. And just a reminder, next time you see us uh, on the show, Man City will be sitting on top of the lock.